Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more NHL 19 expansion franchise with our Quebec Nordiques. And yes, it is time for the draft. After a very unfortunate ending to the season, uh, we lost in, I believe it was the, yes, the second round of the playoffs. So very big bummer. But, um, but hey, now it's time for us to restart. So... I don't know how the team's going to look next year. I really want to up, upgrade the uh, the defense, but right now we have to upgrade the farm system. Uh, and as you can see, we don't even have a top 15 pick since we did so well last year. Um, didn't really help us out in the draft, but maybe we'll trade up if there's someone that really looks of interest. Uh, I'm not sure if there will be anyone uh, like that. But, uh, but anyway, let's see if we can hit... 200 likes this episode i know we can do it so go ahead hit that like button show that love and support and subscribe join the dorsal family help us get closer to a hundred thousand subscribers before the end of the year i know we can do it so uh yes very excited so let's take a look at the draft class see what we got going on here uh doesn't look like anything we do have a high top four defenseman that would be nice to get but let's look at what we're looking at uh so it doesn't look like anything too exciting. Uh, low elite. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should do a trade. Uh, we got some top sixes. See, I really wanted to get a defenseman. Like, it would be nice to pick up this guy. This Huberdo. If we could maybe trade for the fourth round pick, that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's just see if anyone... Uh, any big guys are tired. Thornton, Gabrick, Vonick, Koivu, Keith, Bufflin, Lucic, Dubinsky, Seabrook, Giordano. All right. I'm not going to look through all this. <laughs> I just want to play. What's going on, everyone on stream? How are you guys? Welcome, welcome. Is my chair, um, yeah, we can look at the trade block. Let's see what we got it at. Um, first round pick. I guess we can keep it at that. Uh. I don't know who this guy is. Actually, no, I don't think I want him on the block. Uh, Ludeman, we can put him on it. I thought we traded this guy. Medium elite. I mean, I'll put him on the block. Uh, you know, I forget it. I don't feel like doing all that right now. I just want to do the draft. Um, all right, let's see what we got so far. Uh, we can't do a trade right now, right now. All right. <laughs> I don't even think you get hit with trades during the draft anyway, so... Alright, let's see, uh... I would like to to try and trade for the fourth overall pick. I'm not sure what our chances are of picking that up. Uh... uh long story short, because I'm just going to cut all of that out. I tried so much to, to get this pick, and it didn't work out, so I just I gave up. And it looks like they kept they got that guy anyway, and he's only a 64 overall. So to be honest, I'm kind of glad we didn't get him. <laughs> All right, let's just sim to our uh, to our pick. I'm done trying for trades. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got some top sixes, which isn't bad. Uh, let's just let's sort by potential. See if we got any franchise or anything like that. We do have a medium elite. We have two gems. Uh, goalies, I think I'm going to pin them. One's expected to go 45th. Let's just see if we have any other gems, because I like to pin the gems, if there are any. Uh, we got a couple. We got this guy, who's a low elite, and this guy, another goalie. A lot of goalie gems. Do I go for the gem that's a low elite, or do I go for... Uh, one of the top sixes. What do you guys think? What should I do? We do have a lot of... Well, we, I mean, we do have a lot of centers, but do we have anyone that good? So maybe I should go for Bales, the left winger. Or this guy. I don't know who's better. They're both medium, so... This guy's got the better ranking, it looks like. Um... The gem? You guys think I should go for the gem? Three guys say go for the gem, huh? Who's all the way down here? Really? You guys really think I should go for him? The center? The low elite center? Yeah? Alright. I'll go for him. Hopefully he's something. 64 overall at 18. Alright, that's not bad. I'll take that, I suppose. 
Uh, don't think we'll do anything with him, but... Or, you know, yet. Alright, so we got a lot of second round picks, which is awesome. So we're 51st overall. Let's see what we got. We got a goalie gem. We do have a lot of goalies, but they're also very good to trade for. Because uh, we can always trade for another draft pick. If they're of any value. Um, so that's not bad. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's what the other gem was. Wasn't there another one? This one. I think it was a goalie though, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, I'm not sure what to go for here. A top four defense. Oh, but they're all low. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? He could be a medium. Yeah, you got... Who? The um, This guy? The goalie? Polacek? He could be a medium. He should be at least a starter. How did he do in the... Uh, he didn't do that great. But he is 17 years old. So if he's like a 60, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I do have back-to-back -back picks. You're right. I don't think we should go for this top nine guy, though. At all. Um, don't think that's a good guy to go for. Because it looks like he's definitely a top nine. Uh, Bergenheim. Mm -mm. I don't know. Dadanov. I don't know who to go for here. Pick one who is one of the best with potential. Uh, you guys are... It seems like you guys think I should go for the... Is this Joel? No. <laughs> um, it looks like you guys are telling me to go for the goalie, though. I'm just seeing if there's, like, any, like, top four defensemen mediums or anything like that. High bottom six. Let's go with that. I'm just kidding, by the way. I don't see anything too exciting. I think I just might go for that goalie. The gem goalie. And we'll see if he's any good. Wow! Well, that was a good one to go for. <laughs> a medium franchise goalie. 57 at 17 years old. Wow, I am glad we went for him. Okay. Polacek. Vic Polacek. Wow. Okay, I guess that was a good a good choice. I don't know if he'll be anything, but we can always trade him for probably something very good. So I'll take that. Maybe even get a package for him. I will take that. Okay. Um, sounds good to me. We definitely have a lot of goalies in the system, so I definitely would like to trade some of them. Because uh, I have a good, um, a good feeling that a lot of them are not going to be of anything. Ivan Nans. Yeah, who is this guy? Lubamar, Lubamir, Ivanans. I don't know if I said that name right. Um, all right. Should I go for that other gem goalie? I don't know if I should though. Medium starter. No. If I'm going for another goalie, it's gonna be that gem guy. Unless I see an exact medium franchise or something like that. No. Um. I don't know. Kote, guy Kote, 19 has no stats though. Let's see his full career stats. Nothing. Nothing on this guy. And he's 19 years old. How can he be a gem if there's no stats on him? I'm tempted to go for like a top four defenseman though. Like this Bergenheim guy. But I don't know what he is. Go for the goalie again? I don't know. Oh, no need for another gem. Okay. Uh, take Dadanov. Where's he? I don't know. We have so many centers though. You know what I mean? Um... I'm very tempted to go for Bergenheim. Go with gem. Screw it. <laughs> he played zero games, though, and he's a gem. Like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Flurry. I just don't need another goalie. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm tempted to go with this guy. That goalie's not supposed to be picked anyway, like, for a while. So we don't need to pick him up right now. Um... Who's probably the best player available? Dadanov? Really? Maybe a good defenseman would be... get Ber Yeah, I'm going to get Bergenheim. I'll take the chance. We'll see what he is. Top six. I had a feeling that's what it was going to be. Ah, that stinks. At least we got another pick coming up soon. So let's go for that one. Sim options in the user pick. Flurry, so that flurry guy didn't really seem like he was anything. Alright, um 
Not interested in any of these guys, even if he is a medium starter. No thank you. Uh, how good did he do, though? Not even very good at all. Dadanov, as of now, I might go for him. Um, Blakanev? Blakanev? Kolp? Low, though. The lows don't seem to do too much. The low top four defensemen, I don't see them really amount to anything. Uh, good luck at your basketball tournament, TTV Larry. What's the best, the best overall you've ever drafted? Uh, I don't know about in this franchise, but uh, probably like close to an 80 in like the young guns, like as a top four pick. Usually you're in the 70s until like the halfway mark, then you're lucky to get like 65s. <laughs> Dadanov, Plakanov. I'm getting a couple ones, a couple, excuse me, different, uh, suggestions. I don't like to sort by potential yet. Not until like a lot later. Uh, take all the Canadians. I don't care where they're from. I just want the good players. I don't care where they're from. Uh, Dadanov and Plakanov are the ones I'm getting. I might just take Dadanov. Screw it. I'm going to just take him. See what he is. Top six, uh, 66 overall at 18. That's actually not bad at all. He'll probably be a 72 ish by the time he's 20. So that would, that would be nice. Okay. So to next, we should have one more, one more for this round. You drafted an 84 first overall. That sounds about right. I've seen that before. Uh, Plakanov might take him. He's a winger from Russia. Not just black cutouts, 3D models. Yeah, that would be cool. I feel like every other game has like the 3D models for faces. Um, this guy looks like he could be decent. Five points in 40 games. I don't think that's bad for that league. Um, go for D. You do not have too many good D. Yeah, but I don't see any good D. That's the thing. Uh, this guy's a sniper too. It doesn't have the best skating, physical, or defense, but the shooting is an A minus, which is not bad. Um, he's actually kind of tempting to go for, and I kind of want to hit up D men in free agency too, because I want defensemen now, not in a couple years. Like I want them now. Um, I'm hoping there's good free agents available. I honestly haven't even checked. Um. This guy's defense is a C minus, so he's probably not the best guy to go for. Um, C minus there too. A sniper with a B minus isn't bad. Who? Who's got the B minus? Where was that? Are you talking about this guy, Blakanov? Yeah, I'm gonna go for him. Why not? See what he is. Top six, 64 overall at 18. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, let's send to our next pick. Now I'll probably start going for defensemen. All right. Let's see what we got here. I think now I'm going to start. All right, so don't get this guy. I think now I'm going to start sorting by... Uh, oh, wait. We still have a goalie that's a medium elite. I'll, pick, I'll take him next. I'm not going to take him yet. I'm going to wait a little bit. We got some low elites, though. Uh, sniper. I'll pin these guys. Um, I'm looking for defensemen. Top six forward. Um, take the gem. I will take the gem, but later on. Not right now. Oh, medium top four, but 192. We'll wait on him. Um, wait, what pick is this? I think this is my fourth. Hmm. No, we're looking at okay um i think i'm gonna start taking the pin guys now uh 167 um i don't know her boss would be a solid choice he's not expected to go until later on though so i'd rather take someone sooner and wait on him like maybe the goalie um I wouldn't mind taking a guy who's, like, very close. I think this is the next... Or, no, this is the next one. But I need defensemen. 
You know what I mean? That's what I'm really looking for. These guys are kind of close. Not really. Take top six. Yeah, I know it's the 116th pick, but we still got some time. Or some, you know, we still got probably the next one I, I would take, like, the goalie. Who did someone say to take? Take top six for word. I don't know what that is. Unless you meant ward. There's a medium elite defender back up close to the top. I think it's the guy that you saw that we were talking about. Take Wheeler, low elite. Where's he at? Was he lower? Yeah, I might just take another forward and say, screw it. Uh, are these real people? No, they aren't. Not at this point, at least. Uh, who was the Wheeler guy? Oh, this guy? Nah, I don't think I'm going to take him. He's he's supposed to go way too way too much later. He probably won't even get drafted, to be honest. Um, that's the thing. You got to wonder like if any of these guys are going to be like a franchise next year. You know what I mean? Um, I might take Volkov. You know what I mean? Oh, crap. I'm running out of time. Uh, don't worry. I'm keeping an eye out. I'm just going to take this Volkov guy. Oh, 52 overall. He'll get traded. All right. Uh, sim options in the next user pick. All right, now I'll probably take that goalie. 148th overall. Okay. Um, Let's see who we got pinned. Gortz. Yeah, I'll probably take him. And then I'll go for this guy. Assuming we still got picks available. I hope this guy's going to be good. Oh, medium will leave 48. He's just going to be trade bait, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure he's got a lot of value. Um, Let me see what our next pick is. See, I wish it showed you the um, 149th overall. What's my next one? Because I don't know if I'll have time to get all these guys. Let me see something. Because I'll just go next. I'll go with the Flyers. See what they got cooking. Uh, see, here's what I'll do. Ready? Well, let's see what they have first. See if they got anything worth getting. Yeah, I'm not worried about getting any more centers. I want some defensemen. Man, they got a lot of guys with value. Jeez, Drew's 34. And a 90. They got Skinner, 30 years old. Sanheim wouldn't be... A bad addition, but he's got a big contract. Morgan Frost, I'd like to see if he would be of any. Rupsoff, man, he, he's a top nine. Oh, that's because he, he he is a top six in the uh, my Flyers. Radcliffe, oh man, he didn't grow at all. Haig, neither did he. Um, just seeing what they got. If they have anything. See what goalies they got. Braden Holpe. I think I knew that actually. Um, I, I see what I was going to do was uh, Josh Bailey, thirty-two, big contract though. Petrov might not be a bad guy. Seventy-nine, twenty-two. Let's see if we can pick this guy up. Let's see this. See if I can throw in one of those top six guys that aren't going to amount to anything. Not Bork. I want to keep him. But like this guy, Volkov. Let's see if I can throw him in the mix here. I'll probably have to give up something else. Yeah. I'll give up someone else with like nothing. You know what I mean? Like no no, uh, no hope for. Uh, like Sims. Maybe yeah. No, not Yaskin. Uh, Omen. Yeah, let's throw Omen in there, too. I can probably get a pick out of this, too, like, for next year. See if I can do that. Yeah, 5 mil is a big contract in the NHL. The biggest contract you'll... I hate that it does that. It's so annoying. Now I got to do all this over again. All right. So it was that. 
And then who was who was I going for? That defenseman, right? Oh, now I don't know who it was. There is Petrov. And then I was just getting rid of all of these guys, all these like top fours. I probably could have just done forward, but whatever. Uh wait, yes, yeah, Sims, Volkov, and Omen. I'll see if they'll t if I can get one more thing out of this, but I gotta be quick. Like another pick. Actually, let's see if I can get a first. Probably not. Oh yeah, sweet. Good thing I did that. All right, we got a whole lot out of that. I'll take that. All right, so now we can make our pick. 150th overall, awesome. Let's see who we got on here. Uh, I'll go for, we got a medium top four or a low elite. He's 20, so I doubt he's gonna be anywhere near a 70. And he's 18, I'm going for her boss. I know a low lead sounds... Oh, man. 48 overall. Whatever. I'm still glad I did that trade because those guys weren't going to mount anything. All right. I doubt any of those guys that I wanted are still available. Just Morgan, who's a low elite. A 19. Man. I might just go for someone else. Or an unknown. Might just take a chance. Um, these are all nobodies. Fnuff. Kulashov. Ferguson. Hall. Enforcer defenseman. That would be pretty funny to go for. Man. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't want a, a forward, though. Oh, Cody Glass. No, I'm kidding. I might just go for that whatever it was. The elite dude. Not this guy. I mean, it's a forward, but what the heck. You know what I mean? This Morgan guy. 19. Kuleshov. Go with him. He's MVP. Latvia. Who? Kuleshov? Where's he? Right past them. Michael Delzato? Uh, I don't know where this Kuleshov guy is. But I ain't going any further down. Uh, unless he was towards the top. Go for an unknown for the laughs. I'm tempted to. Or do I want to go for Morgan? Jonas Morgan. Oh, man. Just scroll down and see who you get. I'm just tempted to go for an unknown. There's no more gems, right? No. There's this guy, though. This Jay Young. I'm just looking at stats and seeing if anyone's got, like, good stats just out of nowhere. You know what I mean? I'm going for Morgan. Screw it. At least he's an elite, so he's got value. 55. That's awful. Okay. Now we'll probably just go for someone for the laughs. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about... Has Bob been traded yet? No. I'm probably going to keep him again this year. Next year might be the year he goes, though. Uh, oh, we had a couple follows. I'm sorry. Piggy, Beast Mode, and King, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome to the Dorsal family. All right. Caldwell, he's a medium elite. Well, maybe. Just go for him. Seventh D, there it is. He'll get released. <laughs> or we'll just keep him for depth, just in case. Can always trade them for a pick. All right, that's the end of the draft. Not a bad draft. I think we got some decent players. We got a franchise goalie. Nothing wrong with that. But um, but I think we could have done possibly a little bit better. But uh, but okay. So 
I'm going to sim to the resign fees. So here's what we got going on here. And I need your help here. Um, I want to know if you guys think we should sign any of these players or keep them. I'm probably going to do a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff off camera. Um, we have 7.3 in cap space, which isn't too bad. I just want to see uh, all expiring. Uh, so Kasha, Carlo, and McGinn are the only like big names, it looks like, who are expiring. And then we got a couple goalies, but we can keep these guys unsigned for this year um i'm probably not going to sign any of these guys if anyone i'd sign burkholtz but i'm going to give him another year in the minors uh i don't want to sign him yet i'd rather wait till next year um but anyway uh i might sign yaskin actually let me know if i should sign yaskin i mean his role is minor top two so i feel like i should start playing him in the minors same with like bork um i think i've heard like around 70 is when you should start to sign guys wow. But, uh, but I like to keep them unsigned until they, you know, reach that. But again, a guy like McGinn, he wants at least 1.575. And uh, as he doesn't even want an extension, so I'd have to offer him more than that. Carlo, here's the thing with Carlo. This is why I want to trade him. I ain't giving him 4 point, almost 4.5 million for an 81 overall. So he ain't going to be kept. We're probably going to release him. Um... I might qualify him for RFA. I don't know what that will get me, but um, but I might do that. Uh, and then Kasha wants two something. Oh no, three point one. I, again, I think that's kind of a lot of money for him. I don't think he was that good. Uh, he had he had a thirty-two point year, which isn't bad for a third liner. So maybe we'll keep him. I don't know, but um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. But anyway. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and 414 thank you for the sub welcome to the dorsal family and uh, yeah let me know if you guys think we should sign any of these guys because um, yeah there's definitely uh, a lot here a lot to uh, you know hopefully will be of uh, value but yes can actually I'm just gonna sign him right now because I definitely want him on the team so uh, I'm gonna offer him a little less too uh, just to you know for the sake of cap but uh but yeah anyway um thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed next episode will be the uh the off season we'll take a look at some guys who are potential uh free agents and uh we'll see if there's anyone of uh you know anyone to look for jeru's a free agent uh any kessels this or a uh, kessel any kessels uh this guy's an rfa but he might be worth it for an 88 that's not bad uh, so we might take a take a run at him. Top six forward low. Jordan Kyrie. Who is this guy? An 87 overall? I've never even heard of this dude. He's a center too. I might go for... Oh, but they're both RFAs, which stinks. They, they'll they probably get signed. But um, my boy Sam Reinhardt, he wouldn't be bad to go for. I don't know how much he's going to want. But looks like there's a good couple potential free agents. I just want to see if there's any goalies that we should maybe take a run at. And no, I don't think so. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.